one of the great things um, about moving to the iPad is all of our math and science textbooks are available um, for fairly inexpensively through Pearson. And we've gone ahead and um, bought those on your behalf. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to sign in and use that right now. So the app that you need to download is called Pearson eText. Um, and I've sorted mine into a reference folder. That doesn't mean that's where you need to do that. If you're having trouble finding your Pearson app on your iPad, you can always swipe all the way to the left so that the search field comes up and just write Pearson in the top box and click Pearson eText. Um, when I click that in, it um, looks like it's going to automatically log me in to my account. Um, so this is what it's going to look like once you're signed in, and I can go ahead and click on any of the textbooks, uh, and it'll load it up there for me. Um, now I've provided your username and password, and you'll need that to sign in. But this is what the textbook looks like. Um, I can get a table of contents by clicking this button up here and clicking ta table of contents. I can jump from unit to unit. Um, if I flip my uh, iPad into portrait mode, it looks a little nicer than this. Um, but I can go from page to page. And one thing you might want to do at home um, before you come to school or do it at school sometime is you can download every single chapter ahead of time that way uh, it's already on your iPad so sometime before you go to class you might want to go and what you do is right now it says remove but what I do is I go and it says investigating science and technology that's the first 21 pages of the book I can just push the download button and it starts to download all that in and it's pretty quick okay so just to give you a sense um, let me sign out and once you're signed out, you'll just have to type your username and your password in this box here and push sign in and that'll let you sign into the Pearson app. You can also sign in um, using a web browser on a computer, but I'll explain how to do that at a different time.